Who? Vlogging is definitely a hot topic of conversation and many everyday people are sharing their lives online quite literally by documenting their days and uploading the videos. Now a question that I get asked quite often is which camera should I get to start out and many of those center around using an action camera or a cell phone. Well let's try it out today. What's up everyone, I'm the Everyday Dad. If I can figure it out, you can figure it out. Cell phones and action cameras are two parts of the overall video marketplace that didn't really exist even five years ago. Between Apple slapping that camera on the first iPhone and GoPro taking cameras into small, durable places, we have started shifting our paradigms of what a camera should look like and what we expect image quality wise out of our personal projects. One thing I will say up front is I believe both of these options are viable options for creating YouTube content. I say this a lot, but people will absolutely watch your YouTube videos in 140p from their bathroom. So image quality is important, but only up to a certain level. And I think cell phones and action cameras have far surpassed the level of quality needed to get started. For the video today, we've got two cameras we're using for comparison. One is the Sony FDR-X3000, and the other is the Samsung Galaxy S9. Both have roughly the same size image sensor. Both have optical image stabilization. They can both do 4K video. You can also attach an external microphone to both cameras. Also, they both can utilize SD cards for ease of transferring files. But let's start off with what the cell phone brings to the table. Cell phones are incredible. I seriously think the cell phone has already replaced actual cameras for the majority of people. My wife doesn't own a camera, she only uses her cell phone. You can absolutely vlog on something like the Sony a6500 with a nice microphone, and you'll get a really nice picture out of that. You know, I can't, I can't argue with that. But when it comes to cell phone vlogging, look at this. Look at this. There's almost, you're carrying almost nothing. It's super light. They're both filming in 4K right now. Yeah, you look, get a little more control with the mirrorless camera and the interchangeable lenses. That's awesome, but the phone has better stabilization. You have more options on how to edit, upload, and get your content out there. And it's just so light, and you always have it with you. I don't always have my mirrorless camera. I mean, I, I have it a lot of the times, especially when I'm making YouTube videos, and it's great for that. But there's nothing that beats convenience of the cell phone. They're just, hands down, there isn't. And I think the image quality is okay. It's No, it's not as good, and people will yell at me in the comments for saying that I think it's just as good. For regular people, yeah, it's absolutely just as good. And if you're starting out, yeah, it's just as good. You don't need this to start out, especially when you're doing stuff like vlogging. The audio on cell phones is getting really good. The video on cell phones is getting really good. And you just gotta figure out what works for you. I think cell phones are fantastic. And it, look, I'm already tired holding this. I could hold this all day because it weighs nothing. You can get decent image quality from a device that weighs almost nothing and it's always with you. It is the ultimate in the category of the best camera is the one you have with you. There's no beating a cell phone in that regard. On top of that, cell phones have some ancillary benefits that regular cameras will probably never be capable of without having a cell phone attached to them. Phones can now have editing software installed on them so in a pinch you can film, edit, and upload your project from the same device. Also, like I mentioned earlier, you can install good microphones and the preamps built into a phone generally do a very good job of producing decent audio for your videos. And that is more important than good video, seriously. Another positive of cell phones is all the accessories that you can buy will generally continue to work as you upgrade your phone. The cell phone holder, the microphone, all will go with you when you upgrade phone, which then upgrades your overall camera without having to invest too much overall. Now some of the negatives with cell phones is if you use this as a regular device and your vlogging device, you're gonna very quickly run up to battery limitations. So you're either gonna need to invest in some extra portable batteries or limit your recording time with neither's a very good choice, lots of batteries. Another negative is one that will bleed over into the action camera category, and that is the tiny sensor. That will make filming indoors or filming in any challenging lighting situation so much more difficult. The 1.5 aperture on the S9 is a lot nicer than some other ones, but it is still gonna be pretty rough in indoors or low light. However, you might wanna keep your phone in a safer place than at the forefront of your filmmaking, so in that case, what does an action camera bring to the table? Just like cell phones, action cameras have gone through some pretty legitimate evolution 
since coming into the marketplace only a few years ago. So this is an example of vlogging with the Sony FDRX 3000. I've got a really nice microphone on it. I've got a Rode VideoMic Pro Plus on it. And you just can walk around. We're in medium right now, so you get a very nice amount of everything else without having too much distortion. It doesn't look like an action camera. Now the video might be a little grainy because there's almost no sun. I'm trying to get this in in a tiny, tiny little window where like this tropical storm that's beating up the golf right now gave me like a 10 minute time frame to get some video done. So the footage might not look as good as it normally would when you're outside because all action cameras with these tiny little sensors do require a lot of sunlight to look good, but just the stabilization is on. The stabilization is wonderful. Being able to natively use a microphone, it's just wonderful. Like this is in my mind, one of the best vlogging cameras on the market, period. Most top of the line cameras do excellent image and audio. Even the mid range and budget options are pretty darn good these days. The biggest benefit to an action camera is its ruggedness and that most good action cameras these days have legitimate stabilization built in. The X3000 here has actual optical image stabilization built into the lens. It's really good. Now, if you don't want to put your cell phone in any dangerous situations, an action camera is a perfect way to place something that's not as valuable in a more risky position. Now, while filming on a daily basis, something that is also really helpful that action cameras can do is they have replaceable batteries. Cell phones these days just don't have replaceable batteries. So being able to have a pocket full of batteries that you can just switch out is so much more convenient than having to hook up the camera or hook up your phone to an external battery and letting it charge. Just pop in a battery, video keeps rolling. Now, another thing that's really awesome about having an action camera is that you can use it in combination with the cell phone you already have to do multicam or get multiple angles, get multiple camera shots, and that would not be possible with only one device. Yes, you could get the same thing with two cell phones, but it's more likely you'd buy an action camera and you'd already have your cell phone they'd work, the pair would work really well together. Now, depending on the action camera you have, you might be able to plug an external microphone into it, like the X3000, a built-in 3.5 millimeter audio jack. GoPros do have an accessory to allow you to plug in an audio jack, but it costs 50 bucks. It's a big kind of like blocky part, which is not necessarily as good. But this, this little Sony action camera is a pretty awesome vlogging device. Now, negatives about action cameras are pretty much the same as the cell phone. The tiny sensor again is rearing its ugly head, causing problems filming indoors or in low light situations. And we're back. So what, right? So which camera is the best for vlogging? Now, it really does depend on your situation, your requirements for video. I think something nice and portable like the action camera can make a really nice, minimalistic, durable, quality video platform that draws a whole lot less attention than a DSLR or a big mirrorless camera. But again, the best camera is the one you have with you and there's no beating a cell phone for that. Both are great, depends on what you want. Boom! Thanks for watching.